Welcome to the Grizzly Nook, a mystical secluded land in the middle of nowhere. It is filled with dazzling mountains, rivers, forests, and a vast ocean to the north. If you look a little bit closer, you will notice a quaint town named Paddywhack. Because the civilization has only just been founded, there is a population of a measly 18 people. Look for the Paddywhack's flag as we tour the town. Ah, look at the villagers as they wander to and fro. They are most likely very busy, so we won't bother them. By the way, notice the lovely flowing waterfall running down from the mountain and through the town. Also, take a look at the beautifully handcrafted bridge crossing the river. Let's look at some of the typical houses. Very cozy. Various paintings like these can usually be seen in most houses. As we come to the library, take a moment to be inspired by these strong spruce doors. Library comes with bookshelves, books, potted plants, grouchy librarian, and fireplace. Batteries not included. This hardy blacksmith looks very serious. His name is Joe. Doesn't this church make you feel the urge to break out in song? Well, step right in and pick up a hymnal. There's plenty of room. Before we continue, may I offer you a bag of peanuts? What? You're allergic? Bummer. If we step back outside and walk to the north side of town, You'll see that Paddywhack receives the majority of its goods by harbor. Magical boats from the ocean bring in boxes filled with food and supplies. Just like every other town, Paddywhack has its social classes. The inhabitants include snobs, Joe Schmoes, and Bumfords. Every worker is paid in bricks. But Mr. Disembodied Narrator Voice, can't they just make their own bricks and become instantly rich? You might think so, but these villagers are not the brightest. Jobs consist of sheep shearing, cow milking, chicken plucking, fish fishing, and pig riding. Some laws and punishments include no sheep shearing on Monday, no cow milking on Tuesday, no chicken plucking on Wednesday, no fish fishing on Thursday, and no pig riding on Friday. Speaking of pig riding, to decide the new leader of Paddywhack, a pig riding tournament is held. The winner becomes the Grand Jiminy and is now the leader. The Grizzly Nook religion was formed when an outcast named Calvin Smith stumbled into Paddywhack on accident. The not-so-bright civilians had never seen anybody like him and instantly made him out as a god. Calvin Smith took advantage of this and forced his subjects to build him a shrine. They bring him offerings of food to appease his anger and to keep him always happy. Wow, what a jerk. I hope you had a lovely time on this tour. Your exits are in the back to your left through the door.